Trump's White House delivers ultimate troll to Hillary before and after SCOTUS decision. The big ticket on Monday night was President Donald Trump's announcement of his Supreme Court nominee, and it drew pretty big crowds, particularly when it came to White House correspondents, who had a front row seat to the affair. However, before they went into the East Room of the White House, where the president would announce the pick, they had to walk a very different route than they took when Neil Gorsuch was nominated. And whose portrait was along the way? None other than that of former First Lady and not President Hillary Rodham Clinton. In other words, the White House forced national correspondents to walk past the portrait of his defeated opponent on the way to witness Trump exercise one of the most important powers of the presidency for the second time since he took office. Even if it didn't make it into the news coverage, it's a rock-solid bit that Hillary Clinton knew exactly what was happening from her friends in the mainstream media. In a way, it was an ultimate troll of Hillary, compliments of the Trump White House. The incident was reported by the Daily Caller's Benny Johnson, who happened to notice the message being sent. The White House announced on Monday the selection of Brett Kavanaugh as the much-anticipated pick to replace Kennedy on the Supreme Court, Johnson reported. Before the pick, dozens of members of the WH press corps gathered outside the press briefing room to wait to be ushered into the East Wing where the announcement would be made. During the Gorsuch pick, reporters had been walked through the front colonnade of the mansion. This pick was different. The large gaggle of reporters were walked through the bowels of the service area, past some recycling and trash compactors and directly past Hillary Clinton's portrait hanging in the White House first floor hallway. Johnson revealed more information on his Twitter account. In a troll of deeply epic proportions White House staff just walked all reporters and journalists covering the SCOTUS pick by the dumpster and a portrait of Hillary Clinton, Johnson tweeted. When I asked, White House Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley, if that was on purpose he said absolutely. Sick. This garnered some fairly funny responses from followers of Johnson's Twitter account. This was my personal favorite. Of course, this was a fantastic way to celebrate the nomination. After all, we would probably be stuck with Merrick Garland or worse if Hillary had won the presidency. But she didn't. And now, the only one making judicial picks is Donald J. Trump. At least she has 